guys, it's Sid, and today I'm going to be doing a February glam bag unboxing. Why is the sun bagging? If you want to be technical, but yeah, um, here's my glam bag, my glam bag, my glam bag. There it is. And it's pink, and it's really cute. If you don't know what it is, it's just a $10 subscription box, and each month you get new makeup, and there's sample sizes, and there's usually about five products, and... Yeah, I've been liking it so far, so I'm just going to show you my February one. And yeah, they're all pink, not just the Valentine's Day one, so I'm excited to see. I've been waiting to open this. Actually, no. Right when I got home, I saw it was my box, so I'm like, oh, I'm just going to film a video. Right away. Because I was thinking about, like, what video I should film. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. And also, they give you, like, a bag every month, too, so. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to be inserted into the video. Because, um, this is the next day, if you didn't notice. I filmed yesterday on, thir on the 13th, and today's the 14th, aka Valentine's Day. But yeah, um, I'm a little confused because my files got corrupted from yesterday, so I had to refilm today. Um, but that's okay, I love filming, it's fun. Also, this is not my best makeup day today. I was having some issues because I actually did try some of these products, which is a plus because I can kind of tell you guys some of my, like, opinions on some of these products because I tried them. Okay, so first of all, it comes in this bag, and this is a very cute bag. I'm not going to go into detail into it, but it's cute. It has a cute zipper. Probably my favorite bag. Okay, so first for blush, this is from Model Co., and it is in the shade Peach Bellini, and I did try this. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I tried this out. The packaging is cute and everything. I thought the color was kind of cute, and um, it's very small and easy to travel with, but I tried it on this morning, like today, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I did a very light hand, and it was like so pigmented, like I did a light hand, and it was pigmented, so I have no idea how I'm going to be able to use this, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it that much, I think it's good for dancers and stuff, and like people who do on stage acting and stuff, but this was like too crazy for everyday life. This is my thoughts. Next I have this lip gloss and it is in the City Color Creamy Lip Stain. I don't really like this color. I I just don't. Um, it's in the shade Flirtini. Oh, Flirtini. Oh my gosh. Flirtini. And that was like Tikini or something. What the heck? They like did this rhyming theme. Props to Ipsy for that, but yeah, um, I just don't really like this color, and it's a little bit chunky. I haven't tried it on my lips yet. I'll probably have to mix this with like another lip gloss or lipstick and use it that way because I don't really like this color, but I'll try to find some time to use this. But, you know, some colors you just love. This is not one of my colors. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's like really, really good quality though. Maybe you guys will want to get a different shade or something. But yeah. Okay, so next I have a face oil, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I've never ever used a face oil, and I'm like a beauty person guru, so I feel kind of embarrassed to say that, but I'm just going to say it, keep it real, not fake, um, but yeah, it says Michelle and Peach, oh wait, Mitchell and Peach, sorry Mitchell, um, floral number one, fine radiance face oil, it's just a face oil, I'll try it out, I'm a little nervous because I've never used one, but I'll let you guys know. And it smells like a doctor's office, if I remember. Yeah, it smells like something doctor -y. I don't even know, but I'll let you guys know if this is good. Next, I have this single eyeshadow, and it's from Rob Skeppy for Teeny Beauty in the shade Pearl Fizz. It's like a creamy, like, tanny, kind of like a white shimmery color. And, okay, honestly, I don't really love these colors on my lid a ton. It's really kind of chalky, actually. The the pigment is good. It's just not my favorite thing. I'll use it probably for sure. And I'll let you guys know my future farther thoughts because I've only used this once. Lastly is this Eva Nye Up All Night Volumizing Spray. And it is a hairspray. This is for added volume and texture. Protects from heat styling for all hair types. It smells pretty good. I like it. I like the smell. Maybe I'm just going to try it now. I don't know. Should I try it now? That's scary. Oh, whatever. I'm a rebel. Just try it and hope. I'm just trying a little bit, but whatever. But yeah, I definitely have to use it more to see how it will work, and I will definitely let you guys know my future thoughts. I'm excited to try it. 
I don't really love hair products. I'm not a huge hair person. Like a hair person, oh my gosh, I love hair products, testing them out and stuff. But I will still try it because I have it. That is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. And happy Valentine's Day because it is Valentine's Day today.